My next guest has bucked conventional wisdom within his own community and has been silenced as a result. Dr. Newt Witowski is the former head of biostatistics, epidemiology, and research design at Rockefeller University. He recently posted a video questioning the effectiveness of widespread lockdowns. After amassing nearly 1.5 million views, he says YouTube yanked it for violating the terms we mentioned in the angle. Dr. Witkowski, why do you think there is so much pushback to your line of thinking? I think because so many people have invested so much of their ego, and so they have a problem to acknowledging that maybe it was a bit too much. Well, when you think about this, Dr. Witkowski, there are a lot of reputations, a lot of money, a lot of status that is tied to a particular way of thinking. But a friend of mine the other day said, all great medical discoveries have come with someone kind of bucking the trend, whether it's in research or in just thinking about proper responses. Is that a decent point? Yeah, I think it is. And we, what we see here is that now so many people are directly or indirectly depending on money from the government that this in itself is restricting freedom of speech. Does that mean uh, pharma, money that goes to universities for research? Does that mean uh, uh, drug companies giving money to uh, research that's affiliated with NIH or CDC? Is that what you're talking about? I think it's more the NIH itself. Uh, pharmaceutical companies usually don't care, but the NIH does. Uh, so I think that a lot of, uh, for instance, the Rockefeller University has one third of its budget is coming from the NIH. So if that is the case, then you tend to be a bit more careful in whatever you say. Uh, Dr. John Inglesby of Johns Hopkins University is defending the lockdowns, Professor Watch. Lockdowns were necessary. They actually have changed the course of the epidemic in the United States. We have the largest epidemic in the world, five times as many cases as any other country in the world. And you can see over time that the, the curve is moving in the right direction. We needed to get control of this epidemic in the country and now reset. Doctor, did the lockdowns really, in your view, change the course of this virus and what it was going to do anyway? No, not at all. Uh, what we see in Europe is, among all the different countries, uh, with the exception of Britain, where it took a bit longer for the virus to get, all the other countries in Europe, uh, the course is more or less the same, and it doesn't really matter whether they restricted the freedom of the people when they did it and when they released it. The, even those who released early, like Denmark and a part of Germany, uh, there's no re rebound. Uh, so there is no evidence mm -hmm. that that the shutdown actually had any effect. And you're very adamant, I, I believe, uh, about children in schools and why the data didn't indicate that they should be pulled out of schools. Tell us about that. I think what ha should have been done very early on, and that was the end of February when the first death in the United States was seen to happen in a nursing home in Seattle, what should have happened at that point in time, all nursing homes should be isolated, uh, but the schools should be kept open. Uh, what happened was the opposite. The nursing homes were kept open and the sh schools were closed. And from the perspective of an epidemiologist, that doesn't make any sense because children we knew then have a very mild phenotype only. So the more children get infected, the more uh, we get build herd immunity and the better it is for the elderly, the earlier they can come back out of the nursing homes. Doctor, one final question really quickly. SARS had a six month arc and then it was gone. Dr. Fauci said it's no way going to do that in the case of this virus. Is that the case in your uh, estimation? And if so, why? Uh, 
respiratory disease epidemics, and this is just one of those. They come and last about two weeks, they peak, and they go for about two weeks. Uh, so it, in a large country, it lasts, it lasts a bit longer, in a smaller country, a bit shorter. But after three, four, five weeks, uh, the whole thing is over. We have immunity, and we don't have to think about it anymore. Uh, Dr. Witkowski, I hope you keep speaking out. I think it's so essential. And thank you so much for joining us exclusively tonight. You're welcome. And Florida.